karaoke. You ready? Let's see. Y'all ready? You ready? with black Chinese at the Def Jam party. How's it going down? My things in the, yo, trust me, it's been going crazy over here. I love it, man, I love it. My things. I'm enjoying myself. Toronto's my place, man. I love it up here, so you don't know. Really? Now, now we know that, we know that you just came off stage, you're done, just mashed up the thing. All the girls were jumping, bumping, grinding, whining, and all kind of thing. And I know you've been doing that for a long time, but tell me. 60 years. How does it feel to do it on Caravan at night 2010? It's, it's a blessing to be very honest with you. Like people always ask me, will I ever get sick of it? And I think that if you guys look back at the footage of what just happened, I could ask, I would turn to them and be like, yo, how could you ever get sick of that? Like, how could you ever be tired of pleasing people and making them happy? And it's a joy and it's a blessing. And I, I thank God for them all being here. I thank God for them loving what I do. I thank God for the talent that I have to do it. So it's really a blessing to be very honest with you. Now I know you've been doing reggae for a long time, like you said, 16 years. I know you got mad artists like Shaba. You've got even local artists like Lindo P, Lindisimo. When, how, how, how does reggae feel for you now, like in Canada? Yeah. Well, I'm from Jamaica, so in the morning I eat ackee and sawfish, club and all that dope. You know, if you know what booty beef tastes like, put your hands in here. Put your hands in here. And you went to school in the islands. Put your hands in here. And you're proud of what's in here. Make some noise. Jump it. Yeah, I mean, like with with, with Canadian artists. I'm um, blowing up like Drake's blowing up in hip hop. Uh, you know, you got Lindo P blowing up in reggae. You know, how 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 does that make you feel as as a as a DJ for Canadian artists, Canadian reggae to blow up in Canada like how it is right now? Well, believe it or not, man, Lindo P is my cousin. So that's first and foremost. Like that's fleshy right there. Secondly, there's a lot of artists like Blessings, Lindo P, um, plenty of Toronto and Canada artists that I've seen absolutely do all the groundwork that it takes to get big, Cardinal, and then when they blow up, you know, it's well deserved. So everybody, literally all of them, they've been doing their thing for so long. None of them artists are new, you know. So it's only right that they get their due. It's only right that they get their shine. They not no hurry come up and their songs are wicked, they wicked artists. So I love it. And I love the fact that Toronto support them fully, man, because that's how it should be. I love that still. And uh, just one more question before you go. Are you all still doing sound clash? Like you guys still clashing, like doing world clash? We actually have a clash coming up, man. We With who? It's coming up. Uh, Black Cat, um, Innocent, and uh, Pison Dodge, and some other song, and that dead. Me and mommy tell you that dead. But to be very honest with you, man, we just do that for the fans. We don't do it for any other reason. It makes no economical sense at all. But we do that just because we realize we do have some fans out there that love that. But almost all of our fans love that. Big up to all the people that will just love Black China and support the song. I'm big up to the whole lot of member there, man. Yo, log on to blackchinese.com right now. You don't know already. Everything's there that you need, so. All my single ladies, make some noise. All my ladies that are 
Duke Nation, that's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. It's your boy Duke Nation. We're signing out. Peace, Black Chinese. We out.